Hi students, how are you all? Let's discuss about the relative density of a liquid. Understood? We already discussed about relative density of solid. The link of that video is there in the description box. You can check that. That video was all about relative density of a solid. Okay. And in this class, mainly we'll discuss about relative density of a liquid. To find the relative density of a liquid, we require two things. Actually, we require three things. Number one, that particular liquid whose relative density you want to find. Number two, you need water. Yes, water also you require. Number three, any solid object. Say a stone, okay, a stone or a uh, solid iron ball, fine. So any solid object, a solid iron ball or a stone, whatever you want to take, that solid, number two, water, number three, that particular liquid whose relative density you want to find. So what is the process to find the relative density of a liquid? Let's find that. For that, first of all, we'll take two beakers. Okay? These are two beakers or vessels. Two vessels we are taking. Okay? The first vessel we are taking water. Okay? First vessel we have taken water and in the second vessel we are taking that particular liquid whose relative density we want to find. That particular liquid. Okay. And here is that iron ball. Okay. This is that iron ball means a solid object. If iron ball is not available then you can take that stone also no problem. Okay. Now, number one, just remember these steps, the way of finding relative density of this liquid. Number one, you have to find the weight of this solid in air. Okay, what is that? Number one, what is the weight of the solid in air? Okay, number two, you have to find weight of the solid in water. Fine, number one, we have taken out the weight of the solid in air. Number two, we are taking out the weight of the solid in water. Find number three. Take out the weight of the solid in the liquid. Okay. This three data has to be ready with you. Number one, weight of the solid in air. Number two, weight of the solid in water. Number three, weight of the solid in that particular liquid whose relative density you want to find. Okay. Now, you have to use a very simple formula. What is that formula? Let's see. <coughs> relative density equal to, okay, relative density of this liquid of the liquid equal to huh? weight of the object in air <coughs> weight in air here also you have to write weight in air okay minus weight in liquid 
by minus weight in water. Fine. So this is the simple formula by which you can find the relative density of any liquid. What is that formula? Relative density of a liquid equal to weight in air minus weight in liquid by weight in air minus weight in water. Whose weight? The weight of that solid object which you have taken. As I told you that iron ball you have to take or if the iron ball is not available then you have to take that stone simply the solid object which is available just you have to take that so in this way by using this simple formula we can find the relative density of any liquid as we discussed in Archimedes principle Archimedes principle yes we have already discussed Archimedes principle in our previous class the link of that video is there in the description box you can check that in Archimedes principle we discussed that say an object okay any solid object say stone stone you measure the weight of that solid in air say this is 5 newton okay then the same solid object if you measure its weight in any liquid okay you will see that its weight is reduced understood its weight is reduced in air Say in air it was 5 Newton and in that liquid it is 4 Newton. Yeah, the weight will be reduced. So how much reduction is there? By how much the weight is reduced? 1 Newton. Fine. Say if I write it. Say in air. In air weight is 5 Newton. Okay. In liquid weight is 4 Newton. So, how much the weight is reduced? 1 Newton. 1 Newton. Now, what I am saying you that this is the that vessel and this much liquid is there. Okay. This is the liquid level. Now, here is the object. Fine. Now, you are taking the object here. The object is immersed in the liquid. Okay. The object is immersed in the liquid. In air, it's 5 Newton, I told. And in that liquid, it is 4 Newton. Okay. In air, it is 5 Newton. In liquid, it is 4 Newton. Now, 1 Newton, the weight of displaced liquid. I mean, when you have immersed the solid in that liquid then water or that liquid level will go up I mean you will observe this okay first the level of liquid was here when you have immersed it then liquid level will go up here is the liquid level now okay so this much liquid is displaced by this solid. We have already discussed this case in Archimedes principle. Okay. So, this much liquid, the weight of this much liquid, I mean displaced liquid, this is the displaced liquid. Okay. The weight of that displaced liquid is 1 Newton. Okay. So, instead of this 1 Newton, I can write 1 Newton is the weight of displaced liquid. Okay. 1 Newton is the weight of displaced liquid. Now, if I ask you, the object, when it was in air, it was 5 Newton. Weight was 5 Newton. The same object in the liquid, its weight is 4 Newton. Weight is reduced. Why the weight is reduced? Because when you immerse an object in any liquid, then that liquid gives a upthrust, okay, which we call force of buoyancy. Understood? So, the liquid is giving a upthrust, okay, towards up. 
that's why we call it up thrust now here what is the amount of up thrust if i ask you that how much force it is going see upward force how much upward force this solid is getting that upward force is 1 newton okay so 1 newton is not only the weight of displaced liquid you can also say 1 newton is the amount of up thrust so 1 newton is up thrust thrust okay that 1 newton is also the amount of force of buoyancy okay so 1 newton is also the force of buoyancy okay so what we discussed an object in air 5 newton is the weight the same object in that liquid 4 newton is the weight it is reduced by 1 newton okay now why the weight is reduced because that object when you immersed the object in the liquid the object is getting a upward force okay which we call up thrust or force of buoyancy now how much weight is reduced like here 5 newton was in air 4 newton in liquid so 1 newton is reduced now 1 newton is the weight of displaced liquid okay number two that one newton is only the amount of of thrust okay and that one newton is only the force of buoyancy experienced okay so it has got three names weight of displaced liquid amount of force of buoyancy amount of of thrust okay three names but things are same names are three now as we discussed that relative density of a liquid relative density of a liquid equal to weight in air whose weight that solid object's weight okay that solid object i told you that iron ball or if it is not available then take simply a stone that solid object now so weight in air minus weight in liquid by weight in air minus weight in water this is the simple formula to find the relative density of any liquid we have already discussed now weight in air minus weight in liquid that means the up thrust given by that liquid just we discussed that weight in air is 5 newton weight in liquid is 4 newton so if you minus 1 newton so here also we are subtracting that 1 newton 1 newton is the amount of up thrust okay so we can write that up thrust thrust by liquid okay here we can write up thrust thrust by water same way okay that 1 newton is up thrust now that 1 newton is also called amount of force of buoyancy because up thrust is only force of buoyancy so we can also write amount of force of buoyancy buoyancy by liquid then amount of force of buoyancy by water fine as we have discussed then 1 newton that 1 newton which 
that how much weight is reduced in the liquid? 1 Newton. That 1 Newton is up thrust. Then 1 Newton is amount of force of buoyancy. That 1 Newton is the weight of displaced liquid. So we can also write this here equal to weight of displaced liquid by weight of displaced water okay so when the object is immersed in liquid then how much liquid is displaced the weight of that much liquid now when you have immersed that solid in water then how much water is displaced the weight of that much water okay so this all are the formula to find the relative density of a liquid so i hope you understood all this formula and the way we have derived it okay so you must practice that thank you